Hello, my dears. Welcome back. My name is Pam, or Pamela to some, and I love talking about perfumes. I have often been asked, what's my favorite perfume from a particular collection? Like my House of Sillages, I've been asked that a lot, or my favorite Killian, my favorite Sergeoff, etc., etc. Even with Proag, which is newer to my collection, people ask me, what's my favorite perfume, or what would I recommend to them? And so I decided to do this video today because I think it's important that, you know, I share with you what my top dog or my top shelf for my collection are. Now, as you watch this video, please feel free to comment below what your favorite perfumes are from your favorite brands. So without further ado, let's get started. My first favorite is from the House of Guerlain and it's Mont Guerlain Floral. Now I have other Guerlains in my collection. I've had many Guerlains in my collection, but this is the one that is steady my favorite. I have the private line, still prefer Mont Guerlain Floral. I love the way the lavender and the vanilla and other florals combine. In my opinion, it's the best. It's just simply the best on my skin anyways. Now if you've tried other Mont Guerlains, let me know if you've tried the floral and how it compares for you. But this, this is it for me. So Mon Guerlain Floral is my favorite Guerlain. From the house of Givenchy, I learned that Rouge is my favorite. Now, this is what I have in my collection. I've owned several Givenchy perfumes and learned that Rouge is the one that every single time I am reaching for a, <laughs> a Givenchy fragrance, this is what I'll pick. I've actually gotten rid of almost all my Givenchy's. Learned that Rouge just does it for me. The florals in here, the sweetness, the fruits, the vibrancy, the projection, the sillage, it does absolutely everything. It can do no wrong. This will always be in my collection and so far is the favorite from the Givenchy house in my collection. I highly recommend you give this one a sniff when you go into any of your local department stores because it's widely available, okay? So let's learn to do the rouge. I recently got into Kaali perfumes and I'll say in the last year and this is my favorite even with all the new releases this is my favorite Love Best Burning Cherry by Kaali it is one of the better cherries in my collection it's woody it's warm it's sweet but it's not overpowering it's very comforting actually Kaali Love Best Burning Cherry 48 is also my son Nathan's favorite perfume yes he loves cherry but he loves this one the best every time I spray it he knows it he even knows the difference between Kaali and Tom Ford. <laughs> I know, and he's only nine, right? Anyways, Love Fest Bitter and Sherry happens to be one of the best fragrances in my collection. Out of all my Kaali perfumes, Love Fest Bitter and Sherry is my favorite. I love layering it with other fragrances, especially from the Kaali brand, but Love Fest Bitter and Sherry by itself, it's it's it. It's that chick, okay? So let me know if you've tried it and what your thoughts are on this one in the comments, please. Let's stick with the cherry note. So Proad Cherry Syrup Intense is my favorite out of all the Proads that I have. I don't know if you've ever tried Proad. This is a house out of Bangkok, Thailand, but they make really good fragrances. And from the few that I have in my collection, Cherry Syrup Intense still takes the cake. Absolutely 100%. This is a mix up between Backright Rouge 540 and then maybe a little Trajan in there. And then you got a little bit of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry in there. And then you just throw, you know, a little bit of spices in there. Absolutely divine. I love this fragrance. If you get a chance to try Pro Ad, try this one first. Cherry Syrup Intense, my favorite from the house. From the house of Killian, Angel Share is my favorite. I love the boozy, caramelly, spicy, sugary, warm, slightly chocolatey, you know, vibe I get with this. I absolutely love Angel Share. From the moment I got my nose on this fragrance, when I sample it, I want to say Jen had sent me some uh, perfume collection and reviews. That's how I smelled this from the very first time. And then I bought it and I absolutely love it. Now, this fragrance does get some hate, but for me, it's all love. This is my number one Killian perfume in my Killian collection. And I've got quite a a few. My favorite from the house of Healy Perfumes is Bubblegum Chic by Healy. Now this is the older version of currently called Jasmine OD. That's the newer version. Bubblegum Chic is the older version. Now this is a tuberose balm. One of my favorite tuberoses in my fragrance collection. From Healy, this is my absolute favorite. I've had several Healy's. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to get rid of some of them because I no longer wear them. It's just not my vibe anymore. Healy Bubblegum Chic, that's it for me. I like sweet. 
floral sweet. That's me. Okay, so this is my favorite bubblegum chic. Now, sticking with the sweet, we got Italica from the house of Zerjal. This is my favorite fragrance in my entire Zerjal collection. Now, I ain't got a lot, but this is my favorite. Now, this comes very close with Lyra, okay? I was going back and forth between Lyra and Italica, but Italica wore out Lyra because of the nutty vibes that Italica gives me. I know people talk about the projection and stuff like that, but we're not here to talk about what other people think. We're here to talk about what Pam thinks, and I love Italica. Italica by Zerjal, I purchased when it dropped so i paid full price for it so you can get it for cheaper a lot cheaper now but for me the projection the sillage the vibe it gives me the way it makes me feel i love italica so this is my favorite zerjov out of the few zerjovs i have in my collection will it remain my favorite when i get some more i don't know but for now it's my favorite so that's italica so you're noticing a vibe, I hope, with me. I love sweet perfumes and I love gourmands. Ombre Eccentrico by Armani Privé is my very favorite Armani perfume. I have a couple of them and this one still takes the cake. I have tried several from the Privé line. This one still takes the cake for me. I love the nutty vibes. I love the amber in here. It's my absolute favorite amber fragrance in my entire collection thus far. I know that's a hard reach for some people, but for me, that's what it is. So Amber Eccentrico by Amani Privé. My favorite from the Parfums de Mali house is Delina Exclusive. Now this one, it was a torso between Delina Exclusive and I want to say um, the new release, Athair or Athair. I don't really know how to pronounce that yet. I'm going to learn though. Anyways, Delina Exclusive right now in my collection, my very favorite from Parfums de Mali. I prefer it over the original, over the Rosé. I prefer it over Ariana. I prefer it. It's my favorite point blank period so I love the rose I love the sugary vibes I love the ladylike vibes I just love everything about the Lena exclusive Next up, we have Electimus London. Now, I have tried almost all Electimus London's fragrances. Um, I got, I won a competition, um, a perfume giveaway, and I got to try like over 20 fragrances. And this is still my favorite. This is Trajan. Guys, this smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. But to me, sweeter, better. It gives better vibes, in my opinion. Really, really love this fragrance. I will always have this in my collection. So this is Electimus London's Trajan. I mentioned Raja earlier. So I have quite a bit of Raja that's in my collection. I have about 14 or 15 of them. Enigma or the Parfum. This is the one that for me, I keep reaching for. Even with all of these. I mean, be looking behind the fragrance bar. All of those Enigma is still the one I constantly reach for. As you can see, I put a decent dent in the bottle. I love this fragrance. I don't have the parfum version, and I really don't think I need the parfum version because Enigma or the parfum, it projects, it stays around, it lingers on the skin. The floral notes are beautifully blended. I absolutely love this fragrance. Let me know if you've tried this and what your thoughts are down in the comments, please. Next up is my favorite fragrance house overall, and that's the House of Siage. This is Benevolence. Look at the color of this gorgeous juice. Now, this fragrance does smell very similar to other fragrances that I'm not going to mention because I don't have them. Bottom line, I love me some Benevolence. It has that cola vibe. It's a beautiful vanilla gourmand. It's very much on my skin. It gives projection. I get compliments with it. I have said from the beginning, I love this fragrance. Fragrance, the moment I spray it on my skin, I love it. I don't know about other people's experience with it because some people say they don't like it because of that cola vibe I mentioned earlier. But for me, absolutely love this perfume. There are other newer releases that I actually like from the House of Siage. I would say it competes with Benevolence, but yet and still, Benevolence is still holding her own. Still my top dog, still my top shelf, Margarita. <laughs> I bring the house from House of Siage. Love this perfume. Let me know if you've tried it. Okay. Now my next 
favorite is Dolce Aqua from Perfume Amaroma. Guys, I really love this fragrance so very much. Now, I picked this over the other gourmands or the other Perfume Amaromas in my collection because those are, tend to be very sweet and, you know, they're kind of polarizing for some people. This one is easy to wear. It lasts really long on my skin. It's softer. I really get the vibe that, you know, it's just a really comforting fragrance. I love this fragrance so much. Dolce Aqua, to me, gives me good sillage. It gives me good projection. It gives me all the things and all the feels that I expect from the top. Okay, I haven't tried any other fragrances from this house, not Confetto, not no other fragrances from Perfume Amaroma that I feel this way about Dolce Aqua. When I pick it up, I know I'm going to have a good day. My favorite patchouli overall in my entire collection and my favorite Kriegler is Lovely Patchouli 55. Right now, I love this fragrance so much, but because of the cost, you see, I didn't put a, such a huge dent in it. Because of the cost, I go lightly on it. Love wearing this fragrance. I absolutely really appreciate the way this is blended. It makes it easy to wear patchouli, which is a hard thing for me. So yeah, that's Lovely Patchouli 55. This is my favorite Maison Francis Kirkshawn perfume, and that's Baccarat Rouge 540X Trade. I like the original, but I love this one. I find it to be quite easy to wear. I don't find that it's overly strong or overly masculine. I really like layering it with Kama Sutra when I wear it. So yeah, this is my favorite. Maison Francis Kirkshawn's Baccarat Rouge 540X Trade. From the House of Wilhelm is Poets of Berlin. This is my favorite from my little collection of Wilhelm perfumes. I only have like four or five of them, so yeah. So I don't have a big collection, but I really do like Poets of Berlin. I like the way this gourmand sits on my skin. I like the fruity vibes. I like the projection because the projection is there, but it's not like really loud or screechy or anything. Perfectly blended perfume. I don't know why I resonate with this perfume so much other than it makes me happy okay so that's poets of berlin i have a small amouage collection but love to rose is my favorite love to rose by amouage is for me the best of the best of the best because it's easy to wear it's easy to gift it's just an easy fragrance out of all the difficult fragrances that amouage normally produces so that's love to rose out of all of my perfumes, and I mean all of my perfumes, these are my top houses that I selected top dogs from or top shelf macaritas from. Okay, these perfumes I really feel are the best of the best in my collection when it comes to those particular houses. There are other houses that I could have featured, but these are the ones that when you ask me a question of Pam, what's the best of this or what's the best of that? These are the ones that automatically come to mind. Another thing I want you to remember is that perfumes are a personal preference and a personal choice. So what you like, you like. Don't feel bad if you like something that I don't like or vice versa okay i'm letting go of about 50 perfumes right now i have them already listed so dm me on instagram and i'll let you know what i have available and you can just get from me for a very cheap price <laughs> okay now if this is your first time here my name is pamela and i love talking about perfumes and i hope today's video was helpful for you if this is the kind of stuff you'd like to see, please consider subscribing to the channel. When you do, you'll see a notification bell. When you hit subscribe, you'll see a notification bell to my left, your right. Click on that. Hit the one that says all so you'll know every time I do a video, every time I post in the community, and every single time I do a live. You won't miss a beat if you click on that. So now click on one of these and the artwork, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!